Scorpio, June. What a watery month for you, Scorpio. You got a trine going on with Neptune in the sign of Pisces, Saturn in the sign of Pisces. By the end of, by like the 21st of the month, you'll have a trine with all the, with the sun in the sign of Cancer, Venus, Mercury. So lots and lots of water. And you're already a lot of water, Scorpio. You already are those deep emotions, those, those, places that you're willing to dip your toe into those emotions that a lot of people would just avoid, right? And so you've got a lot of power there. Now, you're going to have an opposition this month with Mars and Taurus, right? Taurus is a sign across from you and Mars is over there. And Mars is one of your co-ruling planets because you're ruled by not only, you're originally ruled by Mars and then I guess they found Pluto and then you got assigned Pluto. So you get two ruling planets and they're both pretty like I guess I would say aggressive planets, right? Mars is like the planet of action, the god of war. And then Pluto wants to just burn everything to carbon, right? So there's a lot of power for you, Scorpio. I say that with great love. I have a lot of Scorpio planets. So you have this opposition with Mars and Taurus and Uranus and Taurus, okay? So opposition, like one side wants one thing, one side wants the other thing, right? So Mars wants to take action in this earth sign of Taurus. So maybe it wants to take action about money or um, maybe it wants to buy something or uh, wants to take action in relationships because it's a Venus sign. And then Uranus is there. It's just going to bring in all this unpredictable stuff and maybe some new ideas that you didn't really think of before. This can also bring you in unexpected monies. It can also bring you in unexpected bills. So maybe stash some of the monies that come in. Okay. Now, Water, water, water. Square with Pluto. Okay. Now Pluto is your other ruling planet. So you got an opposition with your ruling planet and you got a square with your other ruling planet. So it's kind of a no nonsense month for you because you're really going to be shown what's not working and where it is working. I kind of got the vibe that like self deprecating thoughts, you're going to be able to really get a handle on that this month. And you're going to be able to release some of that and move forward lighter. Okay. Also with all this water trines, I want you to rest. I want you to have fun and take advantage of the summer. Okay. And water is a great tool for clearing yourself. So swimming, all this great stuff of summer activities is going to be really, really healthy and healing for you, Scorpio. You have a chance here to release some stuff and to um, feel lighter. Okay. Now my pre-reading for you, I got the six of swords and the six of swords, even though it's an air card, it's got a lot of water there in the background. The, the sailboat is sailing. There's a beautiful calm. It's moving ahead. Okay. It's like a, a sunset cruise. All right. And so there's a calm beauty to it. Now the two of swords showed up and that's where it's kind of getting the vibe about thoughts that you're really going to be able to see and feel those. And you're going to be able to release them all this water around, release those feelings into that water, let it go, let it flow away from you. Okay. Cause they're Scorpio, you're really hard on yourself in general. So this is a chance to lighten up a little. Here's the eight of cups here. And the eight of cups is walking away from something interesting that there's an eclipse happening in the background there. And we were coming out of those eclipses. We had so many since Halloween of last year. Um, so there's opportunity to step away from some old patterns and habits. Okay. And you're really ready, Scorpio. All right. So that's my pre-reading for you. Let's go into a live reading. We're going to do past, present, future situation to see what you need to know this month of June. We're starting off with a reversed six of wands. I'm not too big on reversals. And this is, look at her. She's looking forward. It almost looks like crystal balls down here. She's, um, She's excited about the future, okay? Excited about forward movement. Second six that showed up. Now, this is your present situation. You've got the wheel. Look at that. Look at that carousel. How pretty. There's like tickets and looks like you've entered some raffles. This is Sagittarius energy known to be pretty lucky. All right, you rolled two fives. Five's a number of change. 
and you're ready for it, okay? And you're ready to get off the same looping kind of circle ride, right? Maybe it was entertaining for a while. Kind of reminds me of your childhood. And it's like, okay, let's move on from that now. We're in power positions here and we're ready to live bigger. Future position, got the devil card, which it's interesting. I don't remember seeing this card before in the Rose by Tarot. It's a very interesting version of the devil. And so there's something here you're being held to, right? This is like someone's holding you. It's, she's tied up. And so there's old storylines. There's old victim mentality, old um, things you might feel shame about, okay? And it's interesting because this is the devil, which is usually referred to Saturn. Um, but with the, all the snakes up there, Scorpio, you're so um, seen as the snake so often. So it's showing me that you, you, may, you may have some old memories that come back or times that you felt taken advantage of or um, interesting that it's two women so it could be reflecting, you know, we have a lot of Venus energy right now. There's something deeply healing right now about your relationship with women um, and where you've been taken advantage of, really, and ready to move forward from that, transform that, and transform that in, out of shame and into power, okay? There's a lot of power for you this month. All right, let's go week by week. And... We have four weeks here. Let's see what you need to know this June. Week one, four of wands, celebration. Okay, maybe you're going to a wedding. Maybe you're taking going to some summer parties. Looks like 4th of July. All right, looks like fun. Enjoy it. Savor it. Four, pause, enjoy. Week two, the world. Look at that. Taking a break. She's on vacation. All right, make sure to enjoy the summer. If you live up here in New England like I do, it's pretty short and we want to take advantage of it, okay? The world's a card of completion, closure, uh, being seen, being acknowledged, being awarded, and something, a fresh cycle kind of coming in, okay? Great cards. Week three, two of cups. Look how nice. They're having some wine on the beach. Beautiful. And so it's a relationship number and it looks like it looks really beautiful. The end of the month, we have the page of pentacles. He's flipping a coin. He's got a map. He's deciding which way to go. And it's sitting over this devil card. I think you have an opportunity to go forward or back. Okay. And I don't think there's anything for you back except to clear up some of this old shame and release it. Okay. So maybe get some kind of picture, some kind of visual of what this shame or this uh, blame, guilt that you're holding on to with yourself, or uh, maybe you're angry at someone that you feel victimized by someone. Get a, get us something symbolic, like a, maybe a photo or write down those feelings. And I want you to burn that list, burn it over the toilet, burn it over a bonfire and let go of it. Okay. And then you can move forward. He's flipping a coin to decide which way to go. And I surely hope that you don't continue to go back. Okay. Because everything's kind of showing you moving, moving forward. Okay. So ready to release some of that. You're going to feel so much lighter. Um, remember that guilt is optional. And um, sometimes these are just lessons that we had to learn. And sometimes they don't look pretty, but that is, we have to forgive ourselves. Okay. All right. Let's roll some dice for you this month, Scorpio. I got a runaway dice there and I don't know where it went. So let's see what we got here. We've got the sign cancer. We've got the 12th house and let's see, I will roll this one again. Okay. So Mars cancer 12th house. Okay. So Mars, the planet of action, uh, cancer, the watery sign in the 12th house. Okay. So there's taking action on nurturing yourself, taking action on uh, retreating back, taking action on breaking the cycle, this karmic cycle. Okay. So let's look for some power days for you this month of June. With the sign Aries being rolled, we know that the moon will be in the sign of Aries starting late in the evening on Friday, the 31st of May through the first weekend of June. 
the first and the second, all right? And I think it actually even goes into the third until middle of the night, 1.55 a.m. Now, then we rolled the sign Cancer, and Cancer is our beautiful Cancer weekend of Friday the 7th, 8th, and 9th. So that's going to be a great weekend for you to relax, take action and relaxing. And then we got the 12th house, which is Pisces energy. And we have the moon moving into Pisces at the end of the month. The 26th of June, Wednesday, around 7.08 or 2.08 a.m. through the 27th and the 28th until early in the morning on the 28th, okay? These are power times for you, Scorpio. Enjoy this watery month. Enjoy the beauty of it. Clear, release, move forward. You are so ready. See you.